Hi there. In this Sage Business Cloud video, I'm going to quickly look at creating an invoice for a non-inventory purchase, and we're also going to add a new vendor on the fly. So I'm going to buy some office supplies. Let me just go back to expenses, vendor bills. I'll choose new bill. And for the vendor, if you click in that field, you'll notice that one of our options, I'll show, click on the drop down list, one of our options is add. So you can add a vendor on the fly. So this is loose stationery. I'm going to add a contact name and a phone number. I'm also going to add an account number, an actual account number that we use to automatically debit when we purchase this expense. So this is stationary, which is 5,700 office supplies expense. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save. Oh, province is required. And I'll go ahead and save. Pops it in there. This is on March 7th, 3 slash 7 slash 17. Again, I'm creating this video in 2021, but the data we're adding is way back in 2017. Again, I'm going to tab past the due date. And then the invoice num number is 1583. And I'm going to be buying envelopes and paper. Automatically picks up the account that I added when I added the vendor there. And we're going to leave the quantity at one. The price is 149. And we're the end consumer of these products, so we pay GST and PST. And we'll go ahead and save that. And again, if you want to see the actual entry, the bookkeeping, you'll find that under reporting audit trail. And make sure you use a custom filter and enter the date of that transaction. So again, that is entering a non-inventory purchase where we added the vendor on the fly. Thanks so much for watching.